tend to want to start in the back and work your way forward. This is my last tree here, then we're going to head the other way. It takes 40 to 1. It takes 40 gallons of sap to make one gallon of syrup. Now, we have it all, when we go out and collect, we write down how many buckets and how many, figure out how many gallons we get. And I'd have to go to the truck and get the list. But anyway, um, we generally wind, it depends on the season, but we'll try and wind up with about 80 gallons of finished syrup. So if you take 80 times 40, that's how much uh, sap it takes. Yeah, and see, that's the weather we need. Is that enough to food your other one out there? Yeah, it'll be a half a bucket, but we'll carry it out. Uh, we need an empty here. We'll need them. I'm in five different woodlots. All people that I ask, can I tap here? And I tap there, and I compensate them for tapping there. They're happy, I'm happy, it all works out. One bucket over here that needs. I got to dump this. Basically, you start with everything as sap, cold sap. So, as you're cooking cold sap, there's fire under every one of these. And then we have some pans in the back. That's what we call our warming pans. So it's not going in ice cold. We try to put it in warm. And then what we do, as they all cook down, we'll put it into this pan. We call this number one. And we'll put it into number one to finish it. And number one, while two and three are also we're putting more in there to, if we got cold, we'll put it in there to bring it back up to hot. And then try and finish in number one. This is important too. All right. We collected again on Wednesday and we cooked down. Then we collected Thursday, and since Thursday, today is Monday, we've been firing around the clock. Papa. We haven't stopped firing. The only time we stop firing is when we got to drain the syrup out, because you can't have a hot pan, it'll burn tight as you're draining it. So that's the last we've been cooking around the clock. It's my two granddaughters, Olivia and Michaela. My son is Alan. So this here is finished syrup. Now that's a little on the thin side but not bad. But I'll blend this with something that might be a little thicker and then I can uh, get the consistency just right because because of we've been firing so steady we can't get it just right. It's it's close but not just but it's it's really close. So because what you want when it's hot and you run it out like this, it are little literally sheet off at the end of the dipper and that's when you know it's finished. Want a drink? Oh. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Do you want a drink? You want a drink? She wants to smell it. You want a drink? Open your mouth. <laughs> you get some? Yeah. How's it taste? Good. Good. You want some? That's nice.
Coming up.